Good day students, welcome to mathgotserve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over section 5.1 of our virtual geometry text on quadrilaterals. We're going to be looking at how to identify quadrilaterals. And it's example problem of what we'll be covering in this presentation is presented here. So you're to provide the specific name of the given quadrilateral. So if you have this quadrilateral with two pairs of distinct congruent sides, what is the name of this uh, quadrilateral? To gain access to our entire um, geometry course, Algebra 1, 2, Pre-Calc, and Calculus courses, take a look at the links in the description below, or just visit our website at math.serve.com. Do not forget, we have eight practice problems at the end of this tutorial that we'd like you to try out in order for you to demonstrate mastery of the contents of this presentation. To get us started, we're going to do a real quick review of some vocabulary terms that you need to know to do well in this um, presentation. So this is mathgotserve.com slash geometry. So we're going to just scroll down to the uh, vocab section. So we're looking at vocabularies 22 to 29. All right, so let's start with quadrilateral. What is a quadrilateral? A quadrilateral is a polygon with exactly four sides. If, th if that's the only information that you know, then that polygon um, has exactly four sides. So we have um, a polygon right here, which is a quadrilateral because it has four sides. Next is a kite. What is a kite? A kite is a quadrilateral with two distinct pairs of congruent adjacent sides. Like the quadrilateral we showed in the opening of this presentation is a kite because um, you have two distinct pairs of uh, congruent adjacent sides. So A, B, and B, C are congruent and then AD and CD are congruent. Another um, quadrilateral you need to be able to identify are trapezoids. A trapezoid is a, is a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel sides called bases. All right, and the other pair of sides are called legs. So this is a trapezoid because you just have one pair of parallel sides, BC and AD. Isosceles trapezoid is a special case of a trapezoid. An isosceles trapezoid is a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel sides and um, congruent legs. All right, so trapezoid um, is not an isosceles trapezoid if the legs are not congruent. But if the legs are congruent, as you can see here, A, B, and C, D are congruent legs. Um, this is an isosceles trapezoid. All right, next is a parallelogram. A parallelogram is a quadrilateral where opposite sides are parallel and congruent. So you can see a diagram of a parallelogram here. Opposite sides are parallel and congruent. All right, so let's delve in deeper into parallelograms. A special type of parallelogram is a rhombus. A rhombus is an equilateral parallelogram. Equilateral just basically means all the sides are the same. Another way to think about a rhombus is a square that's squished, squished, okay? So a squished square is a rhombus. All four sides are congruent, all righty? And then you remember the condition of a parallelogram, right? Opposite sides are parallel and congruent. All right, so delving deeper into... Um, parallelograms, we talked about an equilateral parallelogram, which is a rhombus. What about a parallelogram that's equiangular, where all the angles are the same. Well, a rectangle is an equiangular parallelogram, a parallelogram where all four angles are the same and equal to 90 degrees. We know that that's the case because all quadrilaterals have an interior sum angle of 360. So when you split them up equally into four places, you will have 90 degrees each. So this is um, a diagram of a rectangle. Now, what do you get when you cross a rhombus and a rectangle? Equilateral and equiangular, a regular quadrilateral. What is that called? Well, that is called a square. A square is a regular parallelogram. Basically, it's equilateral, which means all four sides are the same, just like a rhombus, and it's equiangular, which means all four angles are congruent just like a rectangle. So if you cross a uh, rhombus and a rectangle together, you end up with a square, all right? So if you think about a parallelogram where all four sides are congruent, 
and all angles are congruent, ladies and gentlemen, you have a square as illustrated here. Alrighty, now let's take a look at some examples. Um, so the instructions are as follows. We are to identify the polygon with the most precise name. So polygon number one, what kind of polygon or quadrilateral is this? This is clearly a kite. Okay, so how do we know that it's a kite? Well, it has two distinct pair of congruent adjacent sides. So this is a kite. And let's write down why it's the re why it's a kite. Kite because because it has two distinct pairs of congruent adjacent sides. Bam. So this is a kite. All right. How about number two? What kind of quadrilateral is this? What will you call the polygon? All we know is that it has four sides. We don't know anything about the angles or the measures of the sides. So if you just have a polygon and four sides are given, you just call it a quadrilateral. Why do we know that it's a quadrilateral? Well, it's a quadrilateral because it has four sides. You can't make any assumptions, all right? Okay, question number three. What kind of uh, quadrilateral is this? Well, it has one pair of parallel sides, so what do you call that? This is called a trapezoid, okay? This is called a trapezoid. Why is it a trapezoid? Um, because it has one pair of parallel sides all right and don't forget the other sides are called what the other sides of a trapezoid the non-parallel sides of a trapezoid are called the legs Alrighty. number four what do you call this uh quadrilateral right here it's similar to this one but it has an additional component which is that the legs are congruent okay so what do you call this this is a special case of a trapezoid is known as an isosceles trapezoid. Why is it an isosceles trapezoid? Well, because it has exactly one pair of parallel sides and the other sides are congruent or the other or the legs are congruent. All right. So because it has um, exactly one pair of um, parallel sides and the other pair and the um, other pair basically the legs are what are congruent bam so this is a special case of a trapezoid, an isosceles trapezoid, just like an isosceles triangle, um, you have two congruent sides. Okay, let's look at number five. What kind of quadrilateral is this? Well, you notice that opposite sides are parallel. So what do you think the name is? This is a parallelogram. Parallelogram. Why is it a parallelogram? It's a parallelogram because opposite sides are parallel that's all that we know but guess what the opposite sides that are parallel they are also congruent you can easily prove that we're going to triangle proofs um, in the future but when you have a parallelogram opposite sides are automatically congruent also but what we're given right here is just parallel we're just given um, the parallel nature of the sides so we, that's sufficient to conclude that this is a parallelogram Okay, so let's look here. What do we have? We notice that all four sides are the same. It's equilateral, just like a square, but it's squished. Remember what a squished square is? This quadrilateral, ladies and gentlemen, is a rhombus. All right? Why is it a rhombus? It's a rhombus because it um, is a uh, quadrilateral. 
with four congruent sides. With four congruent sides. What, what is another word for that? Well, all the four so sides are congruent. Equilateral, okay? So an equilateral, quadrilateral, is a rhombus or a squished square. Okay, so that's number six. Uh, two more problems to go, and then we'll give you some uh, practice problems to try out. Okay, seven and eight. Let's take a look at problem number seven. What is this? If you take a look at this, you notice that all four angles are congruent. This is an equiangular parallelogram. You can clearly see that opposite sides are parallel. Um, so it's clearly a parallelogram. All right, these are vertical lines. These are horizontal lines, but all four angles are the same. So if you have a quadrilateral where all four angles are the same or they're all right, you have a rectangle, ladies and gentlemen. So this is a rectangle. Why is it a rectangle? Because it, it is a quadrilateral with four congruent angles. They're all 90 degrees, okay? Or you can call it, um, it's a equiangular quadrilateral. All equiangular quadrilaterals are rectangles. Okay, so there's no mention. We don't know the sides are not um, uh, per opposite sides are not congruent in this case. Okay, I'm sorry. Opposite sides are congruent, but all four sides are not congruent in this case. All right. So, what about this situation we have here? All four angles are the same, right? So it is. This is a rectangle. But wait a minute. Not only are all four sides the same or congruent, but all four angles, now not only are four, all four angles congruent, like a rectangle, but all four sides are also congruent like a rhombus. The rhombus in question number six. So you remember what you get when you cross a rectangle and a rhombus? You have a square, okay? Bam. So this is a square. Why is it a square? Because it's a regular um, quadrilateral. What on earth does it does that mean? It's a square because all four sides, equilateral and angles, equiangular, are what? Are congruent. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a regular uh, quadrilateral. So a regular quadrilateral is known as a square. Alrighty, now how well did you master the contents of this presentation? Well, now you're going to have an opportunity to show your skills to see if you've mastered the art of identifying quadrilaterals. Alright, so um, we have eight problems here as we promised in the beginning of this presentation we'd like you to try out so the goal is for you uh the goal here is for you to identify um the precise name so try and be as precise as possible because you can have a situation where multiple names apply to um a particular figure but we want you to be as precise as possible with the given information do not make any assumptions, just go with what you're given. Go ahead and pause the video presentation at this time, identify these four figures, click on the playback button, and we're going to reveal to you what the correct answers are. Alrighty, welcome back. Hopefully you had a chance to try the problems. Let's take a look at what the answers are. Number one is a square, equiangular and equilateral, quadrilateral. This right here, number two is a trapezoid because it has one pair of Parallel sides, number three, is a special case of a trapezoid, is an isosceles trapezoid because not only do you have one pair, exactly uh, one pair of parallel sides, but the legs, 
the other pair of non-parallel sides are congruent. So you have an isosceles trapezoid. Number four, this is an equiangular quadrilateral. All four angles are 90 degrees, so this is a rectangle. Number five is a rhombus, a squish square, basically. You have a quadrilateral that's equilateral. All four sides are congruent. Number six is a kite. You have two distinct pair of congruent adjacent sides. Number seven, all we know is that it has four sides, so this is a quadrilateral. Uh, and number eight, opposite sides are parallel, parallelogram. All right, ladies and gentlemen, how well did you do in these practice problems? Let's know what your score is in the comments section below. If you have any questions about any of these examples or what we did in the presentation, just specify it in the comment section, and we will be more than glad to support you. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Really appreciate it. To help support our channel, do give us a like or a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is extremely valuable to us. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel for updates to other presentations such as this and also to gain access to the entire course and other valuable resources to help you master geom geometry. Visit our website at matgoodserve.com or take a look at the links in the description below. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.